What is delta G? This is a good question. So delta G stands for the change in Gibbs free energy. And what this means is that it is the max amount of non-expansion work that can be extracted from a thermodynamically closed system. So another interesting thing about delta G is that it can also be used to describe the spontaneity spontaneity yeah i e t y of a reaction so i'll just say how when delta G is a negative value, this means that the reaction is spontaneous. When delta G is equal to zero, the reaction is at an equilibrium. And also, when delta G is positive, this means our reaction is non-spontaneous. Yep, so the way we can calculate delta G is by using the form following formula. So delta G is equal to delta H minus T times delta S. So the values here, I will also define. Delta H is the change in enthalpy. So basically, this is like the heat of the reaction and also delta s uh, this is the change in entropy so entropy kind of describes the randomness of a system when a system increases in entropy then it becomes more random and more disordered. Uh, when it decreases in entropy, then um, it's less random. Okay, so let's see what our junior tutor said. The Gibbs free energy G is a thermodynamic potential that can be used to calculate the maximum of reversal work that may be performed by a thermodynamic system at a constant temperature and pressure. Uh, the change in delta G is equal to the sum of the enthalpy plus the product of the temperature and entropy of the system. Oh yeah, I should also label T as temperature just to make things. T is temperature. Um, 
and entropy of the system. It is used to describing the spontaneity of a chemical reaction or process. When delta G is positive, the reaction is non-spontaneous. So for example, the input of external energy is necessary for the reaction to occur. When delta G is negative, the reaction is spontaneous, so that means it will occur without any external energy input. And then when delta G is zero, the reaction is in equilibrium. So this solution is correct. Okay, so now let's move on to question number four. <laughs> 